Hello everyone, welcome back to the gaming flu and in this video we get to talk about how to fix controller is not working for Remnant 2 and how you can fix this up. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one when you're having an issue with Remnant 2, the controllers is not working. All you have to do is the first one you have to restart your PC and that's what you have to do. For this we just need to go over here in the start icon, click on this one, go for a restart on your PC, restart on your PC. Once the restart is done, just try launching the game. So this is the basic step which can be done from your end. And restarting the PC worked for many users so you can try this out. Next one is nothing but we have to enable and disable the Steam input. For this we just need to go over here in the library, right click on the remnant 2, click on this one, go to properties. Now from here we have to go to, uh, we have to go over here in the controller. Now from here we have to go over here in the controller and there is an option called use default setting just select this one. So we have options to disable and enable the steam input. So you can try with enabling the steam input. Once you enable the steam input you can launch the game and check whether that's going to fix the issue or not. If that is not working we can change to disable the steam input and try launching the game. So you can keep this either enable the steam input or disable the steam input. You can keep to anyone. So we can keep both either disable or enable. So uh, most probably one should be working fine. Once it's working fine with this, we can go to the next, uh, you can play the game. If it's that not working, just keep this to use default setting and move to the next step. Next step is all about, we have to unplug all the peripherals. You know, you might be connected with multiple monitors sometimes, or uh, controllers might be connected to play these kind of games or many other peripherals might be connected. So just remove everything from the USB port. You have to unplug everything, launch the game. Once game successfully launched and you wanted to play the game, even with the, uh, you're using the normal uh, controllers of the PC that is keyboard and mouse. First remove things, launch the game. Once game is launched, just connect it back. Same way for if you're on the PC, uh, sorry, if you, have, you can do the same for the controllers, just remove it first, launch the game. Once game is successfully launched, just connect back the controller and try launching the game. Next one is nothing but we have to launch the game in the big picture mode and it worked for many users. So for this, we just need to go over here for the big picture mode. We have to go over here. This is the big picture mode. Just click on this one. And that's going to take to the big picture mode. And this is how it looks. Now once you reach to the big picture mode, what you need to do is you just need to go over here in the library. So now the remnant, I have selected the remnant first, just click on the play button from here. So that might work and it worked for many users. In my knowledge, I have seen both in the Steam community and even in the Reddit. Many people mentioned this, so just click on the play button and try launching the game. Next one is all about, you can, apart from this, if you wanted to exit the big picture mode, just go to the menu, click on the power. Now go to the exit big picture mode that will take you to the steam. Now from here go to the library to the game once again and we have to try with next steps. Next step is nothing but we have to what you need to do is we need to close the steam overlay. For closing the steam overlay just go over here just go over here and go to the properties and if it's been turned it on if it is turned it on you have to turn this off. So once you turn this off you have to keep in mind once you turn this off you have to try launch the game and also apparently you have to make sure that you have to disable uh, the unwanted things that overclocking application running in the background for this go over here in the start go to task manager now from here you can see there are many apps running in the background there are many apps running in the background so uh, there are 58 apps running in the background and uh, it comes under for example discord is there uh, so discord is one of the main reason of overlay application you have to remove it and if you find anything over here like Reward Tuner, MSA Afterburner or any application that drain out your performance can be removed. So just remove everything from here. Once you remove everything from here, just go back and try launch the game and that will be working fine for you. Next one is we have to install Xbox accessories. Those who are using the Xbox controller, they need to install the Xbox accessories. So first we need to go to the store. You have to go to the Microsoft store and you have to search for Xbox accessory and you have to install Xbox accessory at any cost. So uh, once you reach to the store, you have to search for 
Xbox accessory and keep in mind that you have to download this and install this. So this is the accessory so I have to select this one and you have to get it. So once you download this one you have to keep in mind once you, after you download this you have to update your Xbox controller using this accessory then only it will be working fine. So you have to uh, go to the Xbox accessory as it is there and you have to update if any updates are they just updated and make it fine. And once after that try and most probably that will be working fine. Last and the least step which you can be done is all about you can try with you can use wired connection instead of uh, wireless use wired connection I mean the wired controllers or anything that will be helping. So these are the possible workaround which can be done and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.